Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Reverend Bishop, in the name of all the priests here gathered around the, around the altar, in the name of all these pilgrims that come tonight for to our shrine. I would like to welcome you and I would like to ask you to preside our Mass. Drodzy bracia i siostry, gromadzimy się w tym naszym sanktuarium, w tym pielgrzymkową noc. Prosimy Boga, aby zesłał swojego Ducha Świętego, by przez Ducha Świętego Bóg dotknął waszych serc swoją łaską, swoją mocą, abyśmy wszyscy wspólnie, jako jedna wspólnota Kościoła, a także każdy z nas indywidualnie przeżyli takie dotknięcie łaski w naszych serc, żeby ten wieczór pielgrzymkowy dzisiaj pozostał w naszych sercach na długo w pamięci. Tego wam życzymy i wspólnie łączmy się w modlitwie w tym dziękczynieniu Bogu, Bogu za wszystkie łaski, a w tym dziękczynieniu myślę, że bardzo skutecznie pomoże nam zespół diakonia, którzy tu pięknie śpiewają by wspólnie wraz z nimi i z naszym ekscelencją składać Bogu dziękczynienie, chwałę i prosić Go o łaski w tych intencjach, które przynosimy przed ten ołtarz. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and we ask the Lord to pardon us and fill us with His mercy and His peace. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring all of us to everlasting life. Amen. Chwała na wysokości Bogu, a na ziemi pokój ludziom dobrej woli. Chwalimy Cię, błogosławimy Cię, dziękujemy Cię, wysławiamy Cię, dzięki Ci
Let us pray. Lord our God, through your power and goodness, the Blessed Virgin, the fairest fruit of your redeeming love, shines forth as the perfect image of the Church. Grant to your people on their pilgrim way on earth that with eyes fixed on Mary, they may follow closely in the footsteps of her Son until they come to that fullness of glory which now they contemplate in his mother with hearts filled with joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Czytanie z Księgi Rodzaju. Gdy Adam zjadł owoc z drzewa zakazanego, Pan Bóg zawołał na niego i zapytał go, Gdzie jesteś? On odpowiedział, Usłyszałem Twój głos w ogrodzie, Przestraszyłem się, bo jestem nagi i ukryłem się. Rzekł Bóg, Któż ci powiedział, że jesteś nagi? Czy może zjadłeś z drzewa, z którego ci zakazałem jeść? Mężczyzna odpowiedział Niewiasta, którą postawiłeś przy mnie, dała mi owoc z tego drzewa i zjadłem. Wtedy Pan Bóg rzekł do niewiasty Dlaczego to uczyniłaś? Niewiasta odpowiedziała Wąż mnie zwiódł i zjadłam. Wtedy Pan Bóg rzekł do węża, ponieważ to uczyniłeś, bądź przeklęty wśród wszystkich zwierząt domowych i polnych. Na brzuchu będziesz się czołgał i proch będziesz jadł po wszystkie dni Twego istnienia. Wprowadza mnie przyjaźń między Ciebie a niewiastę, pomiędzy potomstwo Twoje a potomstwo jej. Ono zmiażdży Ci głowę, a Ty zmiażdżysz mu piętę. Mężczyzna dał swojej żonie imię Ewa, bo ona stała się matką wszystkich żyjących. Oto Słowo Boże.
została wzięta do nieba, radują się zastępy aniołów. Maria została wzięta do nieba, radują się Świętego Jana Krzyża Jezusa stały matka Jego i siostra matki Jego Maria, żona Kleofasa i Maria Magdalena. Kiedy więc Jezus ujrzał matkę i stojącego obok niej ucznia, którego miłował, rzekł do matki, niewiasto, oto syn Twój. Następnie rzekł do ucznia, oto matka Twoja. I od tej godziny uczeń wziął ją do siebie. Oto słowo Pańskie. Good evening to all of you. I am Bishop Don Hying. I'm the new uh, Catholic bishop here in the Diocese of Gary. I've been here for seven months. So this is my first uh, experience of your pilgrimage, and, but not the last. It is such a, a joy and a blessing for all of us to gather tonight. It's such a powerful experience when we realize there are so many Catholics, fellow disciples, brothers and sisters like us who truly love the Lord and want to walk in the footsteps of both Jesus and his blessed mother. So it's Jesus and Mary and our love for them that bring us here together tonight. Please excuse my inability to speak Polish. I should because genetically I'm 50% Polish. My grandfather came from a town near Warsaw, but um, unfortunately the language didn't pass to my generation, so perhaps the priest can teach me for next year. <laughs> This event reminds me of those gigantic masses in Poland that St. John Paul II would celebrate. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be great if he was here? And then the thought occurred to me, he is here. <laughs> he is here in the communion of saints. St. John Paul II is with us tonight, as is the Blessed Mother, as are all the saints in the kingdom of God. Because when we celebrate the Eucharist, it is both a participation and a foreshadowing of the great liturgy of heaven. Here we are to glorify and worship God on this beautiful night, gathered around the nuptial feast of the Lamb, united in communion and in love with each other, together with all of the saints and angels. So if we could put on a supernatural lens, we'd see angels flying around here. We'd see the saints here. Just because we can't see them doesn't mean they're not here. So all of us are gathered to worship the Lord together, heaven and earth. And what a, what a vast, beautiful group of people. Thank you for making this pilgrimage. Thank you for your beautiful witness to faith. I certainly thank um, all of our beautiful Polish religious here in the Diocese of Gary. I'm thinking of the uh, Carmelites who are hosting us tonight. Imagine if 7,000 people showed up in your backyard to camp out. So we thank you for your flexibility and your love and your welcome to us and your hospitality. Tomorrow it's the Salvatorians' turn, right? So we also thank the Salvatorians for hosting tomorrow. 
I'm also so impressed with our Albertine sisters. Are you sitting on the ground, sisters? You are. That's amazing. They are so humble, so loving, and so wonderful here in our diocese. Tonight's Mass is dedicated to the Blessed Virgin, and our first reading prophesies her advent all the way back in Genesis, when God prophesies that um, the serpent will be crushed by the woman. The woman will crush the serpent. And so it makes sense then when we understand that title woman from Mary, that she is the archetypical woman. She is woman as Jesus Christ is man. Mary is the new Eve as Jesus Christ is the new Adam. It makes sense then that in the Gospels, Jesus calls his mother woman. When you first hear that, it sounds a little abrupt. I mean, why didn't he call her mother? He calls her woman. But it has a deep theological meaning because Mary is the woman of Genesis all the way at the beginning. And Mary is the woman of the apocalypse all the way at the end. And so the Blessed Mother, the Virgin Mother of God, is present throughout the scriptures from the very beginning to the very end and unto the fullness of all time. We believe as Christians then that in both Mary and Jesus, God essentially starts over with the human race. He attempts to start over with Noah and the new covenant. He continues that starting over with Abraham and the covenant of the Old Testament. But that definitive starting over takes place in the Virgin Mother of God and her son, Jesus Christ. And so in the whole Christ event, we see God's offer to us of mercy and forgiveness and salvation and eternal life. And we would not have Jesus without Mary. And so we can never completely love Jesus unless we also include Mary in that love relationship. Because she gives us Jesus. She is the Theotokos, as the Council of Ephesus reminds us, the God-bearer, the one who gives human flesh to the invisible God, the one who welcomes the infinite, eternal, transcendent God into this world through her very body, through her very womb, and bears him for nine months. And so the beauty of our faith is that in Jesus and the Blessed Virgin, we can always start over. That God never gives up on us. But no matter how many times we sin and fall, no matter how many times we walk away from God, no matter how painful or, or, or dark our life is, we can always come back to the Lord Jesus and He allows us to start over and He starts over with us. And so this weekend pilgrimage is a physical manifestation of our spiritual pilgrimage towards the kingdom of God. And there's times along the way that you get tired and you want to quit. There's times along the way that you're thirsty and hungry and you're looking for sustenance. There's times along the way that you may feel lost or afraid. And yet Mary walks with us in our spiritual pilgrimage. And so it's her maternal presence that has brought us together tonight, and she leads us to Jesus. There's no great saint in the history of the church who did not have a tender, loving, filial devotion to the Mother of God. Because in Mary we see the very tenderness of God. We see uh, the docility of a servant's response. We see... Uh, the, the maternity of Mary encompassing all of us, loving us, praying us into eternal life. And so she, she dwells with us tonight. In just a few moments, we will receive the miracle and the mystery of the Eucharist. Without Mary, we would not have Jesus, which means without Mary, we would not have the Eucharist in our midst. And so just as she was present at the Incarnation and at the cross, and at the beginning of the church at Pentecost, so too she is present in every Mass, praying for us, continuing to give birth to the church, 
We are the body of Christ as Jesus is the head. And so tonight we renew our devotion to the mother of God. And we pray to her and we love her. And we bring to her all the intentions that we have brought on this pilgrimage with us. The people that we have promised to pray for. The situations in our lives that seem impossible. The difficulties and darkness and violence and poverty of this world. We bring all of that and we lay that at her feet. And she brings it to her son, Jesus Christ. My prayer is that each one of you will come to know in a deeper way because of this pilgrimage. The Blessed Mother's tender love for you and her presence in your life and her desire that you become the saint that the Lord has called you to be. Her final words recorded in the scripture are at the wedding of Cana. Do whatever he tells you. Tonight, Mary, we ask that those words become our own, that we follow your great example of humility, obedience, and docility, that we too may become the saints that you have called us to be. Módlmy się za Kościół, aby w Maryi widział swój wzór. Ciebie prosimy. Módlmy się za naszą Ojczyznę, aby zawsze była wierna swojej Matce Królowej. Ciebie prosimy. Módlmy się za zakony kontemplacyjne, aby przykładem Maryi swoją modlitwą ożywiały Kościół. Ciebie prosimy. Módlmy się za zmarłych, aby Maryja przyczyniła się do osiągnięcia przez nich chwały nieba. Ciebie prosimy. Wysłuchaj nas, Panie, do Ciebie wołamy. Wysłuchaj, prosimy Cię. Módlmy się za nas tutaj zgromadzonych, abyśmy Słowo Boże rozważali w sercu, tak jak Maryja. Ciebie prosimy. Wysłuchaj nas, Panie, do Ciebie Heavenly Father, as this day draws to a close, we offer you our hearts, our lives, and our prayers. Help us to follow in the footsteps of your Son. Help us to be disciples as the Blessed Mother is, completely handing our lives over to you in service and in love. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Amen.
May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and fashion your church more and more in that image of Christ, which it admires and praises in his glorious mother, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to proclaim your greatness with due praise as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Receiving your word in her immaculate heart, she was found worthy to conceive him in her virgin's womb. In giving birth to the Creator, she nurtured the beginnings of the Church. Standing beside the cross, she received the testament of divine love and took to herself as sons and daughters all those who by the death of Christ are born to heavenly life. As the apostles awaited the spirit you had promised, she joined her supplication to the prayers of the disciples and so became the pattern of the church at prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she accompanies your pilgrim church with a mother's love and watches in kindness over the church's homeward steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. <laughs> Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore. 
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Pamiętaj, Boże, o Twoim Kościele na całej ziemi. Sprawa, by lud Twój wzrastał w miłości. Razem z naszym papieżem Franciszkiem, naszym biskupem Donaldem, Dale, biskupem emerytem oraz całym duchowieństwem. Pamiętaj także o naszych zmarłych braciach i siostrach, którzy zasnęli z nadzieją zmartwychwstania i o wszystkich, którzy w Twojej łasce odeszli z tego świata. Dopuść ich do oglądania Twojej światłości. Prosimy Cię, zmiłuj się nad nami wszystkimi i daj nam udział w życiu wiecznym z Najświętszą Bogu Rodzicą, Dziewicą Maryją, ze Świętym Józefem i Oblubieńcem, ze Świętymi Apostołami i wszystkimi świętymi, którzy w ciągu wieków podobali się Tobie, abyśmy z nimi wychwalali Ciebie przez Twojego Syna, Jezusa Chrystusa. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. Przekażcie sobie znak pokoju.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my Komunia święta będzie udzielona tam, gdzie są zapalone lampki i księża będą przy tych lampkach zapalonych. Służba porządkowa poprowadzi. Church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace, which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Reverend Bishop, I would like to thank you for having celebrated for us this Holy Mass. It is an honor for us that we have you among us. And I think for you also is some very memorable experience to participate in this great assembly of the church. These young and old and everybody here who are united in the Holy Spirit to praise God. I would like to thank all the priests here, concelebrating with the Reverend Bishop, and all of you here. Reszta po polsku może. Dziękuję bardzo serdecznie wszystkim kapłanom. Niektórzy nawet są chyba z Polski. Przyjali też, koncelebrują z nami. Dziękuję serdecznie służbie liturgicznej, która pomagała nam tu dobrze przeżyć to spotkanie eucharystyczne. 
szczególne podziękowanie zespołowi Diakonia, którzy naprawdę... Którzy naprawdę wspaniale rozbudzili ten entuzjazm wiary, adoracji, wielbienia Boga. Dziękujemy im, pomogli nam rzeczywiście wznieść nasze serca do Boga w zjednoczeniu z w Duchu Świętym. Ja myślę, że to spotkanie przy Eucharystii pozostanie w naszych sercach na długo, w pamięci, ale także również przyniesie owoce w waszym codziennym życiu, kiedy wrócicie do waszych domów, do waszych rodzin, szkół, zakładów pracy. Dlatego kontynuujmy nasz hymn dziękczynienia dzisiaj wieczorem dalej, oczywiście nawet i osobiście, indywidualnie, gdzieś w głębi serc, kiedy pójdziemy na spoczynek. Dziękuję wam serdecznie za to świadectwo wiary, kiedy przybyliście tak licznie tu do naszego sanktuarium. Będziemy się starać, ile będziemy mogli następny rok również przyjąć was jak najgościniej. Serdecznie przygotować wszelkie możliwe warunki, żeby to przeżycie modlitewne naszej pielgrzymkowej nocy rzeczywiście zjednoczyło nasze serca, ubogaciło was łaską od Boga. I tak jak ksiądz Ekscelencja powiedział, Wszyscy święci, którzy są tu wśród nas, wstawiali się za wami. A teraz prosimy, we ask you to give us the blessing for this night and to continue tomorrow this pilgrimage to Salvatorian Fathers in Maryville. Thank you very much, Father Bruno. I just echo my gratitude to all the priests and Our deacon, all the acolytes and the lector, our wonderful musicians, the music was outstanding. And to all of you, um, as you said, Father, this is a memorable night. It's one of the most beautiful moments of my life, I would say, because... <laughs> because I, I see in all of you a marvelous faith and a beautiful love for God and to um, come together in this way and to spend this weekend simply for the glory of God. What a beautiful thing that is in our world. And so tonight will always be uh, this beautiful memory in my heart uh, of the strength and the glory that God has made manifest when we come together in faith and do something beautiful for Him. So many, many thanks to all of you. Um, I hope you have a, a great night. I get to go home to a comfortable bed. <laughs> But we get to do this tomorrow, so I'll be back for the Mass at 2 o'clock at the Salvatorian Shrine. But many thanks for the beauty of your culture and your faith. Um, I'm very proud to be 50% uh, Polish, <laughs> and tonight it's 100%. Uh, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Idźcie w pokoju Chrystusa.
Yeah.